Hey, welcome back, and uh, let's draw another version of Messi. And I drew him before, but that was a long time ago. Let's give it another shot. Hopefully, I can <laughs> draw him better these days. And also, I'm gonna be using the uh, etched stone paper. Uh, see how that goes. And I really like the texture of this. It's just really smooth and really fun to draw. Uh, really fun to draw on. Okay, so let's draw this, and uh, let's see how that goes. And I'm gonna be just using a 2B, and I'll be drawing it. I guess a little bit smaller so I can fit in here because the paper itself is pretty small here. Alright, so let's give this a shot and I'm feeling a little little bit under the weather. I hope you guys uh, don't mind my voice. It feels a little bit weird. I think everyone's kind of getting sick right now. Alright, so here's the slant of the eyes. I'm going to start here with the eyebrow area. I'm just kind of roughing the width of the, uh, the, the whole eyebrow. And then now let's, let's see. All right, let's let's just start with this eye then. So that's kind of how I like to draw. I like to start with with the eyes and just kind of go for it. Um, I guess I don't like to prepare too much. I just, I just want to draw. So hopefully it'll be instructional and you guys can follow it. If not, um, again, it's just, you know, here and there, I'll, I'll try to describe what I'm doing. So hopefully you guys can pick up some tips. All right, so here's one eye. And this one is pretty dark. Looks like it's got a pretty deep eyebrow right here. So this is going to be pretty dark right here. And here's the eyebrow. trying to get the feel of this feeling a little bit rusty after Thanksgiving we uh, went to Vegas again with the family you know and we play a lot of video games with the kids and I'm sure if I ever got sick it's from there Backs underneath the eyes. Yeah, really smooth paper. Really fun to draw with. Okay, so let's come down here. Here's his nose. And I'm looking at the angles right here. So maybe if I come straight down, looks like it's... The, the wings of the nose is right around here. And just checking the angle from the corner of the eye. Come straight down, somewhere, okay, that's, maybe that's kind of close. So let's just go with that. And the width of the nose. I'm just using this angle, this is kind of strange. I'm just seeing these lines here. Okay, so let's draw. Now that I have the nose roughed in, let's draw, let's come across and draw the other eye. So normally, you know, the the spacing is just one eye apart. So if I double this, or somewhere around here, I'm just looking at his eyes, and it looks it looks doubling is probably correct. So when you look at the reference, just kind of measure, look, look at the the width of his eye and then the space in between and that way you can judge to see if you know that's correct you know some people have it closer or slightly further apart okay so this is pretty dark here this is his eyeball underneath the eye right here the eyelid here's the white I'm just seeing this because this is all, it's almost like a little line here. This part's darker. And then the, the lids coming down. So I'm just almost ignoring what I'm seeing. And I just see this black glob right here. That's what I've, 
that's try that's what I'm trying to do. Um, sometimes you just have to ignore what you see. I know it's difficult, and I I struggle with it. And you know, why do you want to ignore it? Because once you ignore it, then you kind of your eye begins to see slightly different. You know, you're starting to see the shapes as opposed to what you think you're seeing. You know, this eyeball. Okay, let's move on. So we got a very unique look. So this nose right here. There's a tip. The nostrils. Let's see. I'm gonna. I can check it. Looks like his nose needs to be a little bit wider, straight down from the corner of the eye. Here, here. Yeah, let's see. I'm not sure. So lots of lighting here. Um, stadium lighting, yeah, side lighting here, side lighting on this side, and then the lighting up top. That's actually quite complicated. Okay, let's continue down then. So the highlight is right here. Two highlights right here. So this part needs to be a little bit darker. That's why I just kind of went in and shaded. it. And then the bridge of the nose coming down. It's darker as well. Because he has a pretty tall nose. Nostril, nostril, underneath again, very. It's almost like a little Y shape here. Then right underneath the shadow part, this one's dark. Just remember that. Um, your shadows are always darker than things in the shade. Okay, so let's draw his mustache. Now I'm gonna come down. His tooth is really soft on this. I mean, most of using the uh, HB, which works really well. I actually like the HB better for the number two pencil. This feels almost a little too soft. Okay, so let's try his mouth. So the corner of the mouth come down right around here. Eyeball I'll go straight down, it's probably somewhere around here. So I'm just drawing the opening right now. Steve's in here. Actually, a lot of little things going on here. Corner slightly darker. Underneath here is dark. Oh no, that's not right. Looks should be a little bit lower. Very small. Coming down to the beer. There's two white spots right here. I mean lighter spots. Okay, so before we come down any further, let's come back up here and and concentrate more on this part and then we'll continue down because I it looks okay but I can't really tell it looks like yeah, I think this eye slanted again probably should be a little bit lower well let's just go for it yeah, up here 
highlights right here. The side of the face here. The rim lighting. Let's see if I can catch that edge right here. Mustache starts right around here. Comes down. This is like a V shape right here. So I'm just trying to recognize, pick up any kind of features, any kind of shapes I can draw those lines in there. Slightly lower chin. Okay, let's see. It's forehead. Let's draw the hairline. Let's see the hairline. Um, so the distance for the forehead, and I'm looking at it, it looks like if I double the, the, the height of the nose, if I double that, it's slightly higher. So that's how I judge the, uh, how high is, how tall his forehead is. So whatever you can, you know, you can use, you see certain shapes or you know distances or whatever you can use that and i'm just using a nose because it seems like it's almost doubling and the doubling is always a little bit easier to to see hair Let's see come down here I'm not going to draw his ears. Uh, let's draw in this side first. I guess the ear over there is easy, but this side is a little bit harder because I need to find out the width of his head right here. So how far, you know, the, the edge of the, the skull here, if I look at the spacing, it's almost doubling of this. Okay, so I double that. That should be around there. Then his hair, I'm just gonna draw these lines just to outline it for now. So once we have this spot here, um, now that ear's easy. So the ear, if I, if I draw a slant here, it starts right here and from the nose, the bottom of the ear is right here. It's got really big ears. Come out, just drawing the outside shape. And then once we have that, and then we can come in here. So here's the darkest part here. Then we got very big ears, it seems. And then the rest, this is all facial hair. That should be a little bit. Well, I guess it will be a little bit tedious to draw, but it should be kind of fun. Especially on these paper. Okay, so now that I draw on this side. Let's draw the other ear. So I come across from the eyes right around here. And then on the bottom, it's right around here if I come across. Okay, so now I have the, the top point and the bottom point. I can draw in the features real quick. Again, um, angular lines, just kind of block it in. And then we come in here and smooth it out. Okay, forehead, let's come back up here because we need adding some more definition here. So the highlights right here, 
kind of runs across here. So this part needs to be darker. Bottom right here, slightly darker as well. And then another highlight right here. This part's a little bit off. Okay, so how's that? So I'm trying to look at it from a different angle. Yeah, it looks like something is slanted. It looks like the eyes needs to be slanted down more. Um, but overall, I think it's okay. Okay, so let's see. Um, I mean, from here on, it's just a lot of correcting. I'll probably just kind of correct some of the feature first before I you know, continue to shade in more. And the direction of the strokes I'm using, uh, I'm just kind of going this way because it's, it's the most natural uh, motion you know, for, for your wrist. And you know, I can always come in here and cross hatch later, but I'm just more concerned about getting the values correct. So I'm not really paying too much attention to the direction of the lines right now. And the thing I realized that if you can Shading correctly in terms of the value, the lines doesn't really matter as much. You know, when I was strong before, I always thought that the line direction was very important um, to get the cross hatching look or, or what have you, you know, to get that feel so that things are not too directional. And then I kind of realized that as long as you shade it correctly, it's actually okay. Um, it's okay to have those directional lines. I guess when I say okay, I yeah, that's more subjective. I'm just um, saying that I actually kind of like the look of it. And when I realize when the shading is correct, the, the lines don't matter as much. That's what I'm trying to say. So that's why I'm always just trying to focusing uh, I'm just trying to focus on on the shading and less on how it is draw how it is drawn. So here's the highlight right here. Let's just keep going then because I think it looks okay. So the highlight right here, there's two of them. And then right here, we need to make this a little bit darker. Sharper edge right here. Nostrils, we need to make it a lot darker. The crease. Now let's just keep going. I know this eye is off, but let's just keep shading because shading I'm. I think I'm having too much fun with this. Another highlight right here. Now let's draw some of the beer, which is kind of, should be a lot of fun. Because right now it's so light and I know if I draw this, this mustache and everything, the rest of the face might look a little bit lighter now. Just by sheer contrast. Corner of the lip here. The lip is pink. Uh, so it should be a little bit darker than the skin. Turn my pencil slightly to get a harder edge so I can push in, get to that black. The 
motif is not white here, so just keep that in mind. Again, just try to draw what you see and not what you think you see because we always want white teeth, but not when it's in the mouth. Especially with this lighting. Okay, so let's come down here. So the beer, uh, the cool thing about it is like, you know, there's variations, right? So right here is a little bit uh, sharper. And it kind of comes down here, and this part's a little bit darker. And then on this edge right here, slightly darker. And that's what kind of that's what's gonna give you the uh, give the feel of the, the curvature of the face and things like that. So it's, you know sometimes so it is kind of fun. You know, just by drawing the beard, you feel the face developing. So all along the edge right here on the outside is a little bit darker. Right here, you have some uh, wider strands catching more of the light, and then right underneath is a little bit darker. And again, those two white spots right here. So this, um, so all this right here should needs to be a little bit darker. I'm trying real hard to just trying to see the values. So corner of the mouth darker. Darker here. Just trying an outline so I know how far how far the beard and go. Here, here's highlight right here. Okay, so now let's add in more detail down here. So right here, right on the bottom is very dark. And in terms of strokes, I'm I'm going with the direction of the the facial hair itself, and that's gonna give us you know, almost like strands. That's probably a good idea when you're shading mustache or hair and things like that. It just makes it a lot easier. That way you get the shade and the, the detail of the, the strands. And then, you know, it goes in kind of different directions as well. So once in a while, you can just kind of come in slightly different direction. It's almost like cross hatching. Now it looks like little clumps. Turning my pencil just to get a sharper edge. So sharper lines and they'll give like variation in terms of the facial hair. So sometimes, yeah, it is kind of fun. You know, it's just a lot of it's just grind. And then the bottom here, uh, I'm not going to concentrate too much on the neck. The uh, neck part right here is, I'm just going to use it more for like framing, you know, just to finish up the drawing and things like that. Definitely won't be drawing more. Uh, let's come back up here. Maybe I'm going to draw some of the hair on the top since we're having so much fun with facial hair. <laughs> So again, I'm just trying to see this. Right, let's develop the uh, the overall outline here first, so that I can feel more safe when I'm actually shading the hair. Okay. Got really cool hair right here. So this is, I mean, I can always, I'm gonna just give this one direction right here. Draw that first, and then now here it's a little bit darker right here. Much darker here. This is like a one big clump right here. And then this goes in the different directions. It 
Okay, so this is important right here, this dark edge, because the, you know, this is, his hair is right here, and this part right here is all going to be in the shadow. So let's give us the volume of the hair. And then right here, here's the highlight. Now we come down here, here's the shorter hair. And then this one is going out, so that's why I changed, I'm changing directions. And then this is kind of get buzzed, so fades into the skin. Here, here. Now we can add in a little detail right here. Not too much, but just try to add in those strands right there. So you want to keep everything cons a little bit more consistent. You don't want to add too much detail in any given area. Because it really, um, when you have a lot of detail, it tends to attract the eye more. So for those parts, you know, you kind of want to keep it to the, uh, the more important more important part of the face, which is the eyes. All right. So how does that look? Well, it looks, I don't know if it looks like him. I need to look, look it through um, with a fresh eye or see it in a mirror or something. But overall, yeah, it kind of looks like him. It kind of feels like it's got some of the expression, which is good. So let me continue this off camera. Um, it's just gonna be a lot of correcting. I think I did actually most of it on the camera, which is kind of good. Um, so I'm, I'm just gonna finish it up and hopefully I won't be correcting. Hopefully I don't have to correct too much stuff. Um, all right, so hopefully I'll be able to show you guys a much better drawing at the end.